Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. This is Matthew Miller, Matt Miller, Coach Miller, Mr. Coach Miller, whatever you want to call me. I'm sure I've been called worse. Thanks for stopping by for this video titled Delta Math, how to make a teacher account. It's very easy, very simple. Delta Math is a skill-based learning type math environment. There are, there are some mental math type applications where you have integers and, and different things. I'll show you that. And then everything else is kind of multiple choice, fill in the blank. You have a lot of custom ability, customization options, I guess would be the better way to say it, for teachers. So it's, it's not hard. I know that it's overwhelming sometimes for something new. I'm sure everybody's trying to learn this new Schoology stuff, at least right now in 2020. That's what we're doing uh, in a lot of places. I know that's overwhelming to add one more thing, but I really like this software. I want to show you how easy it is to make an account. There's a paid version and a free version. I don't have the paid version. I'm sure it's great. Uh, whoever makes this it has, does a great job with everything else. I'm sure the videos and instruction that you can get with a paid version is, is awesome as well. So let's get started without any more rambling from me. Okay, so deltamath.com, that's where we're at, that's what we're doing. Uh, not difficult, uh, not hard to get there. I'll leave a link in the description. I've already made an account because I've messed this video up several times trying to make it. but. We have option for student and teacher. I'll do a video showing students and, and you can leave that in your virtual world if you need to or, or play it for the kids and they can make fun of me instead of you. That'd be fine. So, teacher account. Very easy. Like, like I said, it's already put my email there because I've already made a dummy account or a test account to show you uh, how easy it is to type in your information, school information. It sends that to whoever made this, so I, I didn't want to make 14 accounts because it took me several tries to make this video. You do not have to put in all your periods or classes or sections. You can actually, you know, make it whatever you want. Put a title in there, create it. I, you probably have to put something in there to start with just to have something. Um, you can also make a custom salutation. So for you coaches, if you want to put coach in there or, and it has, the other basic ones so after you create the account it'll make you log in so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in because I've already made the account so taking a minute all right so we got logged in we have I have everything checked right here throughout the year so you can see all the topics that there are it's even added some computer science all of this stuff is is I'm sure really good. I've not looked at everything because I've not taught some of these subjects since I knew about this. So it's all there. You want to expand it all? You can. It'll show you every little bitty part. And I know that looks overwhelming, so we're going to collapse it all. So let's talk about these tabs up here. Student data. You can view their assignments. I've made two example assignments already. Again, mess these videos up so they're there I have no students in here so I've messed that up um, not messed that up but there's nothing to show you there because there's no students in this class problem logs um, here you can see every time your student has attempted a problem whether they got it wrong or whether they got it correct the only thing it will not show you that on are the mental math assignments mental math it just shows you hey, they got it correct, or or they completed the 10 in a row, or 5 in a row, or they didn't. That's all it shows you. There's very few mental math sections. Everything else is going to show you, hey, they tried 37 of these problems, only got 3. It's great data for you to use uh, to construct different parts of your class. Um, create an assignment. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Your tools, this is where you manage everything. Okay, so I want to manage student classes. I can add a class here and any when you have your students here you can manage them so if you have a kid move or something happens and you need to take them out of a class or move them to a different period you can do all that in this tab the second thing you want to 
pay close attention to is login information. This, your students will need your teacher code right there. They will need that when they create their account. So that will be very important to them logging in. We always make our students email uh, their school email. Pretty much every school now has a school email address. And I make them use the same password for their school email as they do for their Delta Math account. That way they can get in. There are, I guess, backup plans. You can go in and reset their password and different things to help them out if they forget. Saves you a lot of issues. If they sync everything with their Google profile up here, we, there's a video that you can watch on my channel about that. Uh, they can save their password and anytime they log in, they sync everything up, they'll have their passwords there. So if they do that correctly, passwords will not be an issue. So that is the simpleness of that. Let's talk about creating an assignment. I do not use desk corrections. Uh, the teacher I taught with that actually showed me this, she did, she liked it. I've never played around with it. I've used it more for skill building, not for tests or that type of thing. So you can create an assessment here. Um, give it a name. I'm gonna go example three, even though I didn't put a number on the other ones. This is the example that I'm gonna use. If I only wanted to go to second period, I can click that post immediately later or a specific time okay I can do any of those things skills this is where you're gonna add the topics like I said I have everything checked here I'm gonna move my camera over my face over here for a second because I want to show you mental math these are your topics you got integers uh, adding and subtracting multiplying dividing you have just basic multiplication tables and you have perfect squares those are timed assessments. So let's add one, pops up over here. This is how many they have to get in a row correct seconds. This is that's how much time they have to complete those. And this is a new feature. He has not had this, or she, I don't know who made this uh, website, but you can add uh, criteria where, so let's say, after 100 seconds, let's say if they get it right in the next 20 seconds, then they can get 90%. And you can go so on and so forth from that. That is new. I've not actually used that yet. So that's a new feature that you can do for the mental math. Okay? So I'm going to take that away. All the other skills are <clears throat> based off how many... This is how many they you want them to get correct. So let's say we want them to get five correct. And then I can add a penalty. So every time they get one wrong, let's say they go back one. So anytime they get one wrong, they gotta go back. So they get to four, they get one wrong, they go back to three. That, that's great. I like adding that because some kids are just gonna go through and click and, and click and click and click until they hopefully get five right. That's, and we don't wanna see that. You can monitor that again through um, your data over here. So, let's say though um, you can give them you can give them options to show an example. You can also give them a certain amount of attempts per problem. So I'm going to give them one attempt because again, if the penalty, I want that in there. I want them to take it off immediately. You can change the weight. I pretty much always leave it at one just because it's easy for me to figure out what the penalties and stuff. It's easy for me to do that. All right, let's say, but that's not the only skill I want. Let's say I want to add some simplifying ratios, but I'm not sure what those problems will look like. I can click on it and it'll give me some example problems. If I want another one. I can just keep clicking. Give me some different example problems. I decide that's good enough for me. I'm going to add it in there. Let's say I only want them to get three of those correct and I want them to be in a row. So I'm going to make them go back to zero there so I can make these in a row uh, as well. So these are the different types of problems. Um, if I want them to scramble them, I can actually create a scramble section uh, and do that. If you want more information on that, you can leave it in the comments. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. You have to create a due date. So again, I'm just going to pick something later, 8 p.m. tomorrow. You can add a late date. That's late credit, and you can base the percentage off that if you want. That's all there is to creating assignment. You create it. You're good to go. Oops, I still have skill development here. So let's let's take my mixed skills off. I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay. So I have ratios level one. You click create. It'll give you, hey, yep, yeah, you did that right. So it made it, it made it for you. Now it'll show up in our student data. Example three, and we are good to go. That's all there is to it. You can play around with it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Uh, that, that email address that popped up a while ago, I check all those emails, so you can send me an email there if you want. Uh, that'll be perfectly fine. Or mrcoachmiller at gmail.com. That's perfectly fine as well. So, last thing I want to show you, because this person, whoever made this, put in a lot of work. So I do want to show you Delta Math Plus, this is new. This hadn't been around super long time, uh, maybe a year or so. I know at least a year. But you can, he does it yearly. Um, he, he gives you all kinds of stuff uh, that you can do. If you're a school, you can fill out forms for it. Um, again, let me move my head over here so you can see the features a little bit better. There's all kinds of options here. You can even you can even create your own problems. Um, this is, like I said, I, I don't have the time to incorporate this in what I already do in my class right now, but it looks like this guy goes through a lot, or this person, I shouldn't say guy in 2020, I guess. Whoever this is, they spent a lot of time. And so if that's something you're interested in, he has, a sample video for just about every topic on here he or she um, in fact let's finding see. the mean graphically guided so before we do an example I just want to give a concept of what a mean or like average a represents um, I couldn't hear an average is supposed to represent a typical or middle score uh, so if your student gets a, a test bit. score of 90 uh, and 90 so that's it good. makes so sense that they're that. All right, so it looks like it is a male at least making that video. Um, sorry if I guess I guess I shouldn't assume, but anyway. So we are. That's it. That's all there is. If you got questions, please email me. Leave them in the comments. Like or subscribe if you made it this far. I want to. I want to help other people. I'm going to help my students through this channel. Help other people through this channel. Math and tech. Those are my two favorite things to to, to do. Um, so I enjoy all of that. So if there's something you need help with, let me know. It doesn't even have to be about Delta Math. If you have something you want me to show you, I'd be happy to help any way that I can. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. This is Mr. Coach Miller's uh, Math and Tech. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it.